So if the US government's top scientists aren't able to stop a large asteroid from impacting, do they have secondary plans to deal with the terrible after effects? We went to FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency in Washington, to find out if they had any future plans for the survival of the human race in the unlikely event of an asteroid impact. In the event of, a, of, a, of an asteroid that you, could, that you knew was going to, to hit, uh, uh, FEMA would probably be uh, one of the agencies in the leadership role, as would a lot of other agency to, agencies, I would, I would imagine, from uh, uh, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, to uh, NASA, uh, uh, and, uh, and I imagine it would be in consultation with many agencies, and I would imagine something that significant and that horif horrific, catastrophic, would probably be managed from the White House, uh, I would think. Um, and this agency would be uh, one of the right hands of the uh, leadership of the, uh, of the country in dealing with that disaster. In the United States, there are many underground facilities. Uh, some of them are deeply buried and very high tech. And I might add, other countries have them as well. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is perhaps the best known. Um, they do devote a sizable amount of resources to operating their underground installations all around the country. Mount Weather is one of the largest ones, uh, built back in the 1950s. It's under a mountain not far from Washington, D.C. It can accommodate a large number of people, hundreds of people, a couple thousand or more when it's in button-up status. It's uh, really quite elaborate. Uh, Mount Weather, well, we, have, uh, we have a training facility there. We have, uh, we have um, uh, an area there where uh, in a disaster, we have three parts of the country where people can call in if they've been in, in, impacted by a disaster, can call an 800 number, and they can actually register for disaster assistance. We call it a teleregistration center. And that we have one of those out in, in Mount Weather, and we have one on the uh, in uh, Maryland, and we have one in uh, Denton, Texas, as well. Is it public record, and therefore, can you tell me how many people can be safely put into the underground bases that exist in the United States? No. Can you tell me why you can't tell me? No. They, but FEMA must know the figure of how many people it can store underground in the event of a nuclear attack. I don't know the answer to that question. Mysterious World is on TLC all the time.